Welcome back. We're here with part eight of Eliza's Reign, and the kids have just gotten home from school, and it's TV season premiere day, so let's get them all in front of the television. So if you'll remember, Seth has started going down the wrong path. He's evil. He smokes now. He does drugs. It's not cute. Um, so... You know, Eliza is not happy, and he's, like, not even trying to hide it. Like, he just, like, stands there, and she gets mad because she's like, are you serious? Look at all those, like, I'm going to yell at my son now. Yeah, it says, like, you smell like smoke. You're, are you wasted right now? Like, <laughs> she, um, she is not happy. And so, anyway, she's trying to figure out what to do about that because no amount of, of discipline is, seems to be working. Like, look at her stomp her feet. She's so mad. <laughs> and he's just chilling. He doesn't care. So we're also going to get ready for uh, the summit, which is tomorrow. So if you remember, the royal summit is when everyone in the royal family gives presents to Luna, who is the one who gave a vampire who gave them their land. So that's what's going on there. And um, so... Reliana is going to do a school project. Seth is also going to do a school project, but sloppily. And um, we have plenty of wood carvings in Leto's inventory, so he doesn't need to worry about that. And then Eliza also has plenty of paintings in her inventory. So they are um, all in a good shape. So here comes everyone. There's Luna in red. And then, of course, all of Eliza's siblings are also coming. So there's a that, and I'm trying to get them all inside. It is so not working. It is just not <laughs> working. Um, I'm just trying to get them to go inside. They don't want to. They're like, nope, not happening. Not my problem. <laughs> so, okay, you're just going to stand there. That's fine. Um, but looks like Leto is taking up guitar. So that's interesting um good for him he does come from a very creative family i mean cordelia was into the um, arts and music and um then eliza continued that she and she also do, does writing along with art and some musical instruments so leto is just following in his mother's footsteps and also you know what i noticed both of my boys have cleft chins like their mom, like their grandma. And I was like, oh, that's so nice. That makes me so happy. So, you know, just those genetics. Anyway, um, yeah, the boys are like really good looking. I mean, Eliza and Simon were an excellent match. So we'll have to see. I'm, I'm confident that Reliana is also going to look good when she becomes an, a, a teenager. Um, so anyway, everybody is giving Luna presents now. We started with Eliza. We're just working down our list. And look, Agnes Crumplebottom just stomping by. No big deal. Hey, um, you know, it's fine. Also, apparently he can give drugs to Luna. So that I feel like that would be an interesting choice. But anyway, yeah, I think all the adults are getting mad around him. <laughs> oh, and also... Everyone's attracted to Luna. Just everyone. It's impossible not to be. Everyone. I keep getting notifications. Seth, Leto, everyone. Eliza. I mean, when Eliza was younger, she did hop into bed with Luna. So, just saying. Anyway, uh, here comes Seth's present. And then we will move on to Reliana, who is our last. Um, it's, this is actually hard still because it's already 5 p.m., right? We started early in the morning and we still can't get it done until really late because sims don't want to do what you tell them to do but it's much easier to do this with four sims than eight so that's where we're at and that is where we're going to end our royal summit activities so let's send everyone home actually it looks like seth doesn't have to participate in this holiday from being evil but really anna loves it probably because she's a child and giving presents is fun. Also, Luna, you gotta stop that. And um, so anyway, Seth is going to continue to torment his mother by blatantly smoking right in front of her. Yeah, she's not happy. Look at those moodlets. 
Also, like, sims around him get unhappy with the secondhand smoke. Anyway, so she's going to call up Cordelia. This is what's going to happen. We're going to call up Cordelia, who is her sister-in-law. Now, the royal family and the Grand Duchy have very close ties, especially, um, you know, Chaz was the Grand Duke, Cordelia was a queen, and they, like, arranged a marriage between their kids, and then they got together, and then... Um, so anyway, and usually like a, a grand duchy, that is a better like marriage candidate than a regular duchy. Like they're just higher status. So I think Cordelia and Eliza are just chatting about the future and these two don't particularly get along, but you know, they've got to do their best here for the kids. And I think that Cordelia has softened a lot. This is this, she does have the same name as the first Cordelia, um, in case that was confusing. But um, I think that she has softened to Eliza a lot since Simon died and since, you know, these are her nephews and her niece and, you know, it's family, right? So anyway, um, basically Eliza's like, I don't know how to put Seth back on the right path. And Cordelia says that um, her daughter, Aubrey, who is her second child, well, twins with the heir, but Layla is the heir. So she says her daughter, Aubrey, has been very, like, straight-laced. She has, you know, good grades. She's very respectful. She she does everything right. So she says, you know, why don't we arrange a marriage between Aubrey and Seth, and then um, Aubrey will be a good influence and also be a good queen and hopefully even him out a bit. So Eliza is really thinking about that, and she says to Seth, you know, go take Aubrey out on a little date and see what happens. And I don't think that he's really that interested, but he's just like, whatever, like, it gets me out of the house and I don't have to deal with you right now. So they decide to go to the pool that I built because we haven't been there yet and I wanted to go there. <laughs> um, you can catch a speed build for that on my channel if you are interested so there's that and um yeah so we are going to have these two kind of try to get to know each other they don't actually know each other and yes they're cousins unfortunately literally everyone is related to the royal family here so we don't have any other options we are going to have some cousins marry we're never going to do siblings or anything like too close um but we just don't have an option here these are all the families in the kingdom. So you're just going to have to pretend <laughs> that it's fine. You know, it's legal in some states. I actually don't know the details of that. But anyway, <laughs> um, this is Aubrey. Um, I just put her in some styled looks. So that's that about that. Um, she is quite beautiful, like her mother. Um, but she is being somewhere else okay and Seth is going to sunbathe in the nude he's also high as a kite so there's that uh, we're gonna have them go in the slip and slide look at how fun that is um, I love that I want one of those also he's nude going nude down the slip and slide on your belly as a boy I feel like I don't know you guys I feel like that would be painful in some way <laughs> Anyway, so they're going to go swimming together now as well. And I think Aubrey is, like, not particularly interested. Because she, like, she is, you know, she's like, ugh, you're, like, high right now? That's And you're naked? Like, she's like, what the hell? <laughs> so, um, I think that uh, she's not too pleased with this arrangement from their parents. And they're really pushing for a marriage here. So, she, and she just straight up left. She just left. She's gone now. <laughs> so... Um, yeah, I think that that didn't go particularly well, but I think their parents are also going to keep pushing for it because Aubrey is, is such a good person and she's really smart and stuff. So I think they're like, she would make a really great queen and hopefully balance out the fact that Seth is not really looking like he's going to make that great a king. And of course, Eliza is just hoping that he like grows out of whatever this phase is and stuff. So I think that... She's really concerned about that. And anyway, so just checking the calendar. Reliana's birthday isn't for a little bit. 
I'm trying to think of stuff to do with them. So let's invite over the nobility club and have a little party. So I think that that would be fun. And we are going to come over here and turn on the music and we're going to dance and it's going to be fun. So let's just invite everyone over and enjoy that. So here we go. Yep. I miss Regina. We should do check-ins. We should do check-ins soon. Um, maybe not the next video, but the one after that, we should do check-ins. Um, we just did check-ins like last sim week from this, so I'm like, mm, maybe it's a little too soon. But also, I like checking in on all the families, and I feel like it's also important to, um, you know, like look at all these kids. I don't even know if I know all their names. <laughs> so um, we should, you know, try to get to know some of the other families because they are going to be relevant, especially... Um, as our Gen 3 starts to become teenagers, it's important because we want to start getting them in relationships. So that's what's going on there. I think I am, I did plan to do one more um, like round of new nobility. I think they're going to be, shoot, okay, so we have, we have duchies, we have marches, what comes after that? Maybe Earl? Yeah, Earls. So, but I think that that's probably going to be it because this is already a lot of Sims to take care of. And as we expand into other kingdoms, at first, like my original plan was to literally fill up all of the worlds here. And then I was like, wait a second, Meg. That's not going to work because you're going to have to take care of all those Sims and you're going to have to keep up with all those Sims. And also you have an 80 Sim limit before your game starts to hate you and it already hates you <laughs> because the lag is real. So, um... I was like, okay, maybe not. I was originally going to have earls and then viscounts as well, but I think we're just going to have earls. That's going to be all the nobility. There's going to be 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11 noble families. And then there'll be some families in other kingdoms as well, but I'm not going to expand those out also. Like, it's going to be like. You know, the other kingdom will have a couple of households that I won't really maintain that much only when we need them. So if like we need to have a conflict with another kingdom, I'll just, you know, pop in a sim and be like, that's a descendant of blah, blah, blah. And um, then we'll call that that. So uh, we are not going to really be doing that much with the other kingdoms because we have 11 families to keep track of here. So we will only bring in the other kingdoms when they become relevant to the storyline. And Eliza has just finished a masterpiece. But yeah, we are going to create another kingdom uh, in generation three. Eliza might still be alive, but like for the generation three drama. But um, that will come in a little bit. And Leto is really enjoying going to space all the time. And, oh, Seth has a sunburn. Look at that kid. He has been sunburned from laying out in the sun, <laughs> which is kind of funny. Um, but, you know, at least his, he doesn't have any tan lines because he was sunbathing nude. So <laughs> I actually have no idea when that'll go away. There's no mood lit or anything. He just permanently has a sunburn. It's fine. Um... Anyway, Eliza is going to bake some cookies because, I don't know, she's already got cooking level 10. She is, doesn't have a baking level, and we're just trying to find something to do with the last few minutes of this video. But, of course, it doesn't go to plan. Something's always got to happen. You know, Sims just don't know what to do. They start a fire. <laughs> so Eliza just started a fire, and I'm like, okay, Eliza. Well, good, you saved the cookies. I'm glad. But I tell her to put out the fire, and, like, both of the boys get here before she even starts trying. And I'm just like, okay, Eliza, <laughs> it's fine. Nobody died. We're all set. Everything's fine. Everything's good. So, um, you know, we're just going to accept that and move on with our lives. So that's where we're going to wrap up. So we'll go to screenshots now. Here are the screenshots. And I hope that you guys enjoyed. We'll see what happens with Seth soon, and I'll catch you in the next one.